What do the cold pop and a cold front have in common? Cool school climate clip time. Have you ever experienced one of those really hot, humid days where the air feels so thick and sticky you don't want to move? Time to head to the fridge and grab a nice cold pop to cool off. But as soon as you pull that cold pop out of the fridge, guess what happens? It starts sweating. But why? This actually has nothing to do with sweat and everything to do with matter and phase changes. Like all matter, water has the ability to change phases, like solid, liquid, and gas. Now when water molecules are in that invisible gas state, they're just floating around out there and you can't see them. Kind of like this. There are water molecules all over the place and they're colliding with that can of pop. When those warm water molecules collide with that cold can of pop, they go through a phase change, changing from gas to liquid. Back to the hot summer day. Those invisible water molecules are still out there. They're helping it feel nice and humid and sticky, but guess what? A cold front is coming. Dun, 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 dun. And just like that can of pop, that cold front's gonna come in and collide with those warm water molecules in the air. That's why it rains when a cold front comes through. Gas turns to liquid, it's a phase change. Engage even your most reluctant readers in reading science and check out Cool School Comics today.